Hey everybody, this is Herc Magnus here, and I want to introduce you to a new tool we just developed uh, for our Rank and Rent Dot Club members, and that is a calculator to help you determine if the Rank and Rent site and keyword that you are potentially going to build is even worth building. We hate building websites that are a waste of time from the beginning, so we always like to know our data before we spend time and money building a Rank and Rent property. So the way that this calculator works is basically it's going to take into consideration all the steps from building a website, from choosing a keyword, all the way down to actually getting deals closed over the phone and what that looks like as far as profitability for your site. It'll also help you determine how much your site could possibly be rented for based on the keywords that you're targeting and ranking for. So the way it works is pretty simple. So you have to, if you're looking at a keyword, say pool resurfacing Phoenix, okay, you have to target a certain keyword. Now let's say pool resurfacing Phoenix has about 280 searches per month. You're just gonna wanna put that in there and click enter and you'll see it'll start doing calculations for you. The first calculation that we're going to look at is how much potential traffic could your website bring if it's ranked anywhere from number one two or three in Google. And please remember these are approximations. Sites ranked at number one potentially can bring in up to 32% of the search volume as traffic sites at number two around 25% sites at number three could bring in 18%. That doesn't account for Google Maps. It also doesn't account for Google guaranteed ads, but this isn't meant to tell you exact numbers. It's meant to be an approximation to know if you should invest time and money into it. So that keyword alone, if that's all you're targeting, you can move forward. But if you're targeting multiple keywords, you can add as many keywords as you want. So let's say the second keyword was 140, the third keyword was 100, and the fourth keyword was also 100. You can just add the keywords and you can see it does all the calculations automatically for you and then totals them up at the bottom. So these four keywords ranking at number one in Google could possibly bring you around 198 visits per month. And if you're down at number three for all four of them, okay, it's 112. So it's kind of an approximation. Ranking all four keywords between number one and number three, it could be anywhere from 112 to 198. So traffic is great, but that's not all we're looking for. We need to know phone calls. Not every person who visits your site is going to actually pick up the phone and call you. So we have to have a conversion for phone calls. So I typically like to shoot for around a 20% conversion of visitors to phone calls. So all we do is type in 20 and that will populate the next column of estimated calls based on a 20% call conversion. And that means once again, with all the keywords that we're targeting and all the positions, we can expect to generate around 22 to 40 phone calls per month on those keywords. So once again, now we have to determine the next level of conversion. Not every phone call is going to turn into a sale. So we have to put in a conversion. How many sales, if you're sending someone calls and they're answering the phone, how many of those phone calls can they potentially turn into a sale for whatever service that is? So we can put in whatever numbers. If you wanna put in 20%, just go ahead and it'll tell you the next data. So that means you could be possibly sending a client anywhere from four to eight new jobs. Now, if 20% is too high or too low, you can always press back and you can adjust. So maybe you can close four calls. So we'll put that in and it will change the numbers for you. Now, this is where we start getting into the profitability of those calls. So if they're generating anywhere from six jobs to about 10 jobs per month, we have to enter what an NVPS is. Now an NVPS is a niche value per sale. It's kind of an approximation of how much your client would charge their client to do the job. So in a pool resurfacing example, let's say the average pool resurfacing job is about $2,500, you would enter $2,500. Now obviously not all pool jobs are going to cost $2,500. I want to remind you, this is an approximation to help you determine if it's profitable or not. It's not meant to tell you exact numbers. Some pool resurfacing jobs could probably be ten dollars or $12,000, some could be $500. We're just looking for a value that we can estimate based on. So I like to do a conservative value, $2,500, okay? And that means if you're sending a client around six to 10 calls at an average NVPS of around 2,500, that means you're generating that business anywhere from just shy of 14,000 to just shy of $25,000 in new revenue for the company. 
Now, how much should you charge the company to bring them that much new revenue on a monthly basis? You obviously can't charge them all of it. They would go out of business. They have their own costs. They have overhead. They have supplies. They have staffing expenses. Okay, They have their margins. But a conservative number is about 5%. So let's say you send them a $1,000 job and you want 5% of that. That's around $50. So if we put in 5% as the net, the revenue percentage from gross that you want to take as profit for the rank and rent site, that will give you your final numbers of the rental value of the site that you could possibly expect. Okay, remember once again, I have to keep reminding you, this isn't exact numbers, it's if all these things play out, if they get a 20% call conversion, if they close 20% of the calls that come into jobs, um, and if they charge $2,500 NVPS per job, okay, you're looking at a site rental value of around $700 to bring them $14,000 in, in value in new business to around $1,240 to bring them around $25,000 in business. Okay. Now, if for any reason you want to back up and change things or you want to maybe, maybe you found a new keyword, okay, you can come back and add a new keyword. Say you found a really cool keyword that's $500 it will auto update everything for you or you can just remove the last keywords or anything. You can also press previous to go ahead and change any of the values that you need here or press next to go back to them. And what we're looking for is to get to the end of the line, which is this, the estimated rental value. So once again, I'm going to explain, this is not exact measurements. It is meant to tell you, okay, if I can target these keywords, I can expect to get around this much in rental value as an approximation. Yes, you, you can then decide, yes, I wanna invest in this keyword because I like these numbers or no, I don't wanna invest in this keyword because they're just too far off. So for instance, if it was just one keyword, I could only find one keyword with a niche value per sale of $2,500. I could get around 300 to 560 per month just from this keyword alone. Okay, and then you'd say, yes, I like that keyword. I wanna go after it. Now I wanna hunt for new keywords. Okay, well, I found another keyword of 100, that just brings up my value, so on and so forth. So it's a really interactive tool to help you decide if the niche that you're going after, if it will be profitable. It has to be easy to rank and it has to be profitable. And this calculator is just, help, um, is just meant to help you determine if it's going to be profitable based on each step of the conversions along the way. So hopefully you like the tool. If you do, please comment below. Otherwise, we'll see you soon.